most people didn't really care about anime or if they did they really they really wouldn't tell anyone else that they did but now anime is all over the place you can't escape it at all gojo as a character has exploded all over you can't miss him throughout the internet he's become a global phenomenon and popular with the ladies konbawa minasan kill this jujutsu kaisen one of the most popular anime right now anime in the west has recently seen a big explosion from the 2010s on forward, I think anime has become extremely more mainstream in the West. Because when I was growing up, anime was a very niche genre that very few people got into or few people would admit that they watched. Besides the occasional Dragon Ball Zs and the Pokemons and the Digimons and the Inuyashas, most people didn't really care about anime or if they did, they really, they really wouldn't tell anyone else that they did. But now anime is all over the place. You can't escape it at all. And one thing people are always looking for is the next battle shonen. And after the success of Demon Slayer, a lot of people were looking forward when this anime Jujutsu Kaisen was announced that was going to come out last year. And similar to Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen came out and became very popular. So here are three reasons why I believe Jujutsu Kaisen has become a social phenomenon and also why I like it. Number one, the story. I like to think of Jujutsu Kaisen as being a mixture of Yu Yu Hakusho, Bleach, Naruto and Hunter x Hunter. I think the story is pretty standard. It's about a boy who discovers this whole other life of cursed monsters and the other organization that helps to get rid of these monsters. Very similar to how Bleach was with Hollows and how Yu Yu Hakusho Yusuke became a spirit detective dealing with the cases with demons. And it also took part in the real world. I also like that the main character Yuji has a beast inside of him, but it's not like Naruto in which Kurama and Naruto became friends and oftentimes he would rely on Kurama to help him in his fights. With Sukuna and Yuji, it's more of like it's a burden to him because Sukuna doesn't care for Yuji like that. He wants to kill him. So I like how it got influenced by that Naruto dynamic, but didn't necessarily take that same route. And seeing as Yu Yu Hakusho and Bleach were very popular series in the West, I see it that it's no shock that a lot of Westerners gravitated towards Jujutsu Kaisen. And what I also like is that Yuji is not trying to become Okage or the Pirate King. He just wants to help people. And I think in this modern age where it seems like most shonen protagonists want to become some kind of title of some kind, that it's just kind of refreshing in a way that all he wants to do is just help people. But I also think the nature of spirits, cursed spirits, and how they're formed and how the powers are based off negative energy, negative feelings, I think that's very interesting. And with that, jumping into number two for why I believe the series is so popular, definitely is its characters. Gojo as a character has exploded all over. You can't miss him throughout the internet. He's become a global phenomenon. Everyone loves Gojo. He's funny, charismatic, plus he's extremely powerful and popular with the ladies. But not just him, everyone else in the cast, they're very three-dimensional characters. They're not flat with their writing. They feel like real people that have real emotions. And I like how more realistic their interactions are with the characters. It feels like these people can genuinely be real people that you can talk with and interact with. And they also have a very strong screen presence, which I think is very vital for any kind of story. Plus, the villains are top-notched. I like how... They're not necessarily the stereotypical archetype of, yes, we're gonna rule the world and kill all the people. I'm evil, ha ha ha. I mean, they are evil, but I like how in a lot of the scenes, they're like on a beach, uh, you know, sipping on some drinks. They have a very, they have a strong sense of camaraderie with the villains that I feel like is missing in a lot of shows today. Akutami is a fantastic story writer, and I think he made a lot of characters that are very charismatic, very three dimensional, and they're very, they have a strong presence. Everyone feels like they're supposed to be there, which I love with this series. Number three, maturity. Like I've said with my AOT video when I reviewed Attack on Titan on why it's so popular, I think another thing why, or another reason why Jujutsu Kaisen is so popular is because it's also very mature in its themes. I'm pretty sure if Akutami wanted to, he could make this manga a uh, seinen manga because it has a lot of very mature themes to it. But I also like that it doesn't baby you. like people die there's actually stakes involved like you actually feel tension with this series because especially in events in the first arc that happen where you expect it to go a certain way but it ends up actually going a different way i like how the story kind of messes with your expectations you expect it to go one way but it completely goes a different way and to me that's a fantastic display of good character writing good story writing from akutami 
But yeah, it's themes as well, how it tackles what it means to be human. Do humans have a soul, duty, and amongst other things, I just love how mature the series feels. Ultimately, it wasn't as explosive as Demon Slayer was, because Demon Slayer was like, oh, wow. But Jujutsu Kaisen is a very solid show, it's a solid anime, I love the anime. The soundtrack, the animation was flawless. I think Studio Mappa did a fantastic job adapting the manga into an anime. And I look forward to seeing the movie. I haven't seen uh, the movie that came out recently, but I so look forward to watching it because I'm excited for this series. And I really think a lot of those reasons that I mentioned are the reasons why this series is so popular. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, also hit that bell as well to get notified whenever we post the video. Anto arigatou gozaimasu, minna. Kiyo tsukete. Ja ne.